Welcome in on this Thursday. It is Imagination Stay here at w Imagination Station Day at WTO 11. Jeff Stevenson is here, and you're trying to keep the genie in the bottle with yeah. this experiment, right, Jeff? Yes, Chris. I was down in the basements of Imagination Station. Okay. All right, you and dug I, up some good science. And then. I, I found this incredibly expensive, rare right. genie lamp. All right. I've seen these before. Yes, yes, exactly. It's it's clearly very high end. All right. It's uh, and so what I want you to do is I want you to open up our genie bottle here and see what we get. May I? Yeah, you may. So just unpop that cork there. Okay. All right. So it seems like we can hear it, and we are getting some good genie magical smoke or fog or steam, some sort of some some sort of uh, you know cloud that's coming out to signify our genie has been released. Okay. All right. And this is a really great little experiment you can do if you want to get people interested in science. Now, I'm going to break it down a little bit here, but eventually it almost seems like it's kind of like shaking a little bit, doesn't it? It is. Doesn't it? That's because there's a, a, a chemical reaction going on there. You saw that great chemistry experiment, okay. that, uh, those great chemistry jokes that uh, right. we yeah. heard in that last segment. But uh, this is some, oh, here we go. All right, looks like the genie is actually, oh, oh yeah, we might want to. Looks like it's actually trying to escape. Grant us some three wishes. What would your three wishes be, Chris? Uh, for more wishes, right? For more, yeah, 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 of course, right? A million more wishes. What's your second one? How about sunshine today? Huh? Sunshine, and then I assume your third one is to know what's going on in the experiment. Uh, yeah, right? somewhere in between that and a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so so I'm gonna I'm gonna grant your third wish. Here. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna set this one, this little genie, off to the Do side. Do you need to and, recap it? Well, no, that's probably not a good idea, right? Okay. If, if things are scientifically, pressure, that's not a good idea. Yeah, you don't want to ever close pressure in, right? So we're just we're we're just gonna let that genie do its genie thing over there, okay? And I'm gonna help you. I brought this two liter bottle, which is nothing to do with our lamp over here. Um, and I want you to put in about 100 milliliters. So just leave me, leave me a little bit left at the end okay. of this. And what you're pouring in there is 35% hydrogen peroxide. Go ahead, okay. I'll hold it down for so you. So a lot of people have hydrogen per peroxide at home. It's not nearly this concentrated, No, is it? you have it in that little brown bottle at home in your medicine cabinet, right? I'll and th you, that uh, stuff is three, it put a little bit more. I just need a tad at the end. That's good, that's good. All right, the stuff you have at home is 3.5%. Okay. This is 35% hydrogen. 10 times stronger. 10 times stronger. So if you think the stuff at home stings, okay. this is why we're wearing gloves and goggles, and this stuff really stings. Okay. So that's what we put in there at the bottom of our, uh, our genie lamp there. And what we need, the reason why it's in that brown bottle at home is because the sun will constantly break it down. It'll be constantly turning it into water and oxygen. Its chemical formula is H2O2. Okay. So, but it takes like six months for that to happen. Do you want to wait six months for No, I don't. You don't. Let's, let's, let's drop a catalyst in here. We're going to drop a catalyst, exactly. So what I want you to do is get like a, this is like a little spoon that I made out of a pipette. Oh, yes. And you're going you're to get like a good scoop, a good, a good hefty scoop, and you're going to just kind of pour it in there. That's good. Excellent. And Excellent. what is this? That is potassium iodide. It's okay. a catalyst, all right? And what it does is it causes that reaction to happen all at once. Excellent. Look at that. And so when we get that reaction happening inside of our two liter Ooh. bottle, all right, it causes this big exothermic reaction. Remember exothermic means? So we're gonna feel heat. Yeah, you're, and you can actually, you're wearing gloves, you can actually feel, it seems to have calmed down quite a bit. You can feel the heat coming off of it. Yeah. And if, I know at home, sure can. heat does not tra translate well over television, no. right? So I brought a regular two liter bottle so you can see what's happening <gasps> for our two liter bottle. Ah. You can actually see that it's significantly smaller now because right. that, that heat has shrunk it. All right, it's, it's gotten all those polymers in that bottle all shrunk. So that is what's going on in the experiment, right? And I know that hydrogen peroxide used at home, you're thinking, you're thinking, you know what? That's for disinfecting wounds, right? Right. So I wanted to just kind of show you what's going on when you do that kind of thing. So can you like kind of hold your hand out like this? I can. Okay, all right, just, I brought you, oh, let's see if this, this might come in pieces here. All right, I'm gonna give you a piece of a liver Okay. And oh, this, thank you. Yeah, this is going to represent like a like a wound that we cut. Okay. okay. So we, we you know we got ourselves cut right. So we got some exposed flesh here. Oh yeah, here's a good piece. Here's a good liver piece. Okay. Hope you're not squeamish at home. Hope Just nobody... in case breakfast wasn't done yet this yeah, morning. Yeah, a little liver and onions to get you going. Okay. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some of this 35% hydrogen peroxide on here so you can see what occurs. This is really high end stuff, but you can see you get that subcutaneous. Uh, capillary embolism going on right there, which... Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. When it, when it stings really bad, it's actually kind of popping the capillaries underneath of you, and you can see it turns really white and bubbly and fizzy. And that seems like it's, disinfect it's disinfecting your wound. And with this stuff, this 35% stuff, it is really disinfecting the bacteria. And when they use the hospital grade stuff, like 7%, okay. to wash the counters, it's disinfecting it. But when you have the 3.5% at home, 
You're not really actually... Really? Yeah, there's been some new research to show that the bubbling might dislodge some soil it's, or like... Uh, irritants. Debris. Yeah, irritants. So if you like cut yourself on a branch, something like uh -huh. that it might be good for that. But you're not actually disinfecting it. You might want to explore another disinfection option before you put the stingy stuff on your... That's what I called it, at least the, st the brown stingy stuff on your okay. uh, kids' cuts and things okay. like that. So, yeah. may, may I put the liver down now? If you want, is that your fourth wish? Is that is <laughs> that's that what you're my fourth okay, wish? Okay, go ahead and put and, it down. And now Chris. apparently I'm out of wishes. Not only is he a scientist at Imagination Station, also a medical technician. Today. I would not say that, but <laughs> you can learn a lot about uh, medicine with some good basic chemistry and good science. Speaking of good science, what are you guys doing at the Imagination Station? Well, we're doing all kinds of great things at Imagination Station, and I think you want to do is come in this Saturday, Lucas County Residence, um, get a kid in free with an adult mission. So. I like the sound of that. Yeah. All right, Jeff, stay with us. There's so much. Much more WTL in your day coming up after this.